When it comes to books, my all-time favorite genre is psychological thriller. I will read anything from Frieda McFadden, Lucinda Berry, Sherry LaPena. So with that being said, here are my top five favorite psychological thrillers to recommend. The first one is Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. This book follows the main character, Amber, who is currently in the hospital in a coma. So she can't remember what it was that got her into this coma in the first place, but she can hear what's going on around her. So while she can't move her body, she can't speak, she can't interact with anyone, she can still listen. So as she hears the conversations that go on in her hospital room between her husband and the nurses and doctors and her sister, she starts to try and put the pieces of the puzzle together. One of my favorite things about this book is how you have a dual timeline. So as you're following Amber, you're following her through the now of her in a coma in the hospital and her then, which goes back to her childhood and her diary entries. And the thing about Amber plays out into the title of this book because on the back cover it says, my name is Amber Reynolds and there are three things that you should know about me. One, I'm in a coma. Two, my husband doesn't love me anymore. And three, sometimes I lie. Let me just tell you that the twist in this book will absolutely blow you away. This is one of the most shocking twists in a book I have ever read through and because of that it just makes it so so good. Next up we have The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry. I love Lucinda Berry and this book was the first one I've ever read from her and it has stuck with me ever since. In this story, you follow a happily married couple named Christopher and Hannah. They both work at the same hospital where he is a surgeon and she's a nurse. They're one of those couples that seems to have a happy marriage, a happy home, and all of their ducks are just in a row, but they're actually struggling trying to conceive a child of their own. One day, a child is brought into the hospital. This child was obviously mistreated and malnourished and very scared of everyone around her. Little girl is only six years old and Christopher gets assigned to her case and he's working with her through all her medical stuff when he ends up forming like a really strong attachment to her and he convinces his wife Hannah that they should adopt her. So they take this little girl Janie into their home and the whole entire story just unfolds little by little after that in a way that will just blow your mind and work every single emotion you have to the maximum. I was so frustrated with this book. This is one of those stories that makes you want to throw the book across the room. This is the type of mental manipulation in a book that I thrive on. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I love stuff like this. The little girl, Janie, she ends up becoming such an extreme handful for this couple that their mental state is on the line at this point. She obviously has a lot of trauma from wherever she came from and the the upbringing that she had. It's causing so much pressure in their little family and in their home. And when I tell you, it just gets crazier and crazier. Can't recommend this one enough. It is so fun. It does kind of end on a little bit of like a cliffhanger, but there is a sequel, um, but it's just a short story. So it's a very small extra bit of continued story. Next up is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. She is one of my favorite authors of all time. I just enjoy her books so much and The Housemaid is my favorite of hers. This book is already super well known and you either love it or you hate it. There's really no in between that I've seen and for me I just think it's so much fun. In this book we're introduced to our main character. Her name is Millie. She is fresh out of jail. She is living out of her car and she is just looking for literally any job she can get so that she can get on her own two feet and have a fresh start. She gets hired to be a live-in housemaid for the Winchester family, which is the perfect opportunity for Millie because she's currently living out of her car. As she starts this new job for this couple, she starts learning and noticing things about the wife that are just really strange. Millie is doing the best that she can to not only please them, but to also kind of mind her own business with whatever it is going on with the wife and the husband. But because she is their live-in housemaid, she can't really avoid it for too long. So needless to say, she gets involved and I'm so glad she does because it makes the story so freaking good. I absolutely love the twist in this. I love the character development that we saw in Millie because you have to remember in the beginning of the book, she just got out of jail. So she does have a dark past. And even though she's trying to do the right thing now and get on her own feet and start a life for herself, she can't help the fact that she comes from where she comes from. And I just love Millie so much. She, she is one of my favorite female main characters in a book. Number four is The Couple Next Door by Sherry LaPena. I love this book so much because the plot in this is just absolutely bonkers. You have a married couple who seem to have it all and they have a brand new baby girl. 
they get invited by their neighbors to come over for a dinner party. At the last second, their babysitter cancels, and instead of calling it off, they both decide that they can leave the baby in the crib while she goes to sleep, they'll have the baby monitor on, they'll take the baby monitor with them, since the neighbors are just right next door, and they'll check on her every 10 minutes on the monitor and every 30 minutes in person. So what happens in this book? The baby goes missing, of course. They go over at one point to check on her, and she is no longer there. So this whole book turns into an entire like search for the child. Husband and wife are losing their minds. They have no idea what could have happened. They get the detectives involved and everyone is searching for this baby. The twists and turns in this book were honestly endless. It was something different in every single chapter. And I really love Sherry LaPena's writing style because she keeps you turning pages like no one else does. Her chapters are not only super short, but every single one of them leaves off on like a miniature cliffhanger where you just have to turn the next page and see what happens next. I'm a big fan of every book from her I have read so far, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Last but not least is Don't Let Her Stay by Nicola Sanders. The reason why I love to recommend this book is because I know it's gonna piss you off. This book is so good and it really does get all of those emotions going. That's why I love psychological thrillers so much. So in this book you follow a husband and a wife and their new baby. They're happily married, they have a huge beautiful home, and they want for nothing. The husband actually has a older daughter that is from a previous marriage, but he is completely estranged from her. He doesn't speak to her. Um, they haven't spoken in a really long time. And all of a sudden, this 20 year old daughter reaches out to him and wants to reconnect. Basically, she says, hey, I know I haven't seen you or spoken to you in years, but I heard I have a new baby sister now and I'd love to come and get to know you and your new wife and my little sister. So she comes to stay with them and to get to know the family. And that's where the title of the book comes in, which I think is so fun because it's called Don't Let Her Stay. The daughter comes to visit and the wife tries to make her feel comfortable and feel accepted and loved in the family. And this daughter just has a, a hidden agenda. This is one of those types of books that will just manipulate you until the absolute end. Like even on that last and final page, you are still being manipulated. You will want to punch every single one of these characters in the face, except for the baby. So those are my top five psychological thrillers to recommend. I love this genre. If you want more recs like this, please like and subscribe.